Hello friends and welcome to another episode here on the channel. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with our Series 7 content that we kicked off with in our last episode. If you missed that episode, I go through all the things that you'll need to do to access the alternative showdown server where you can start to practice Series 7 or as close to a Series 7 format as that we've got at the moment. I'll link the video up above if you want to go back and check all the details out there. There is another team as well in that episode that you can uh, grab and test out and start playing with on the ladder if you would like to start playing series seven of course and um, the team that we're going to focus on today is going to be based all around dracovish or at least that's where it started now the fossil pokemon obviously with the introduction to crown tundra and that ability patch that we're going to have access to now where we can get hidden abilities without any any hassle it's going to be really easy an item will change a normal ability into a hidden ability so it's a it's a huge step forward for uh, the entry level into competitive Pokemon and the, the amount of time that you're going to save by doing this is just insane. So uh, the, the fossil Pokemon obviously get access to their hidden abilities now like I was just saying Dracovish gets access to Sandrush so that's something that I really wanted to, to test out so that's what we're going to try today obviously with Sandrush you double your speed whenever the Sandstorm is uh, up on the field and we need a Sandstorm user so uh, we've got Tyranitar to kind of pair nicely with that. Uh, Tyranitar also very good in this format I feel like dark types are extremely good but very few and far between there aren't that many great dark types but there are a few that can do a uh, a decent job and we've seen Tyranitar perform super well throughout the Sword and Shield series so far with its Dynamax ability and normally running the weakness policy and that's exactly what we went for here with a brave nature minimum speed to play alongside the Dusclops with that trick room mod. Then another Pokemon new one that we're gonna see uh, that I wanted to try out was Thunderous. Uh, it has got it's a defiant ability as well another hidden ability there which boosts it uh, well anytime its stats are lowered it gets an attack boost which is just ridiculous like Thunderous is very strong got a decent physical move pool as well can uh, boost its speed obviously change terrain uh, boost its own attack and defense as well so this spread here i need to give a big shout out to my good friend luigi uh, he passed this over to me and he's been hyping thunderous up a lot so uh, the spread is his i've just dunked it in the team to use and it's been really effective so big shout out to luigi for that uh, and then rounding off the team with incineroar obviously the good old faithful incineroar and amoongus for a little bit of redirection if we are going to struggle otherwise to set our trick room up so um, the team will be down in the description below. There'll be a paste for you guys to try out. Like I say, if you need the address and things to get on this server, it'll be in the description. But you could, you're probably better off going back and checking yesterday's video or last video, uh, which I'll link uh, again. It'll be in the little eye in the corner for you guys. So let's get into it. As always, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. It does take two seconds and it really helps out the channel. And let me know that you enjoy this sort of content as well. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing we do a lot of content like this based around competitive pokemon as well as a lot of guides and just general pokemon as well so you'll have a great time here we've got a great community going on we do have a community discord as well that's linked down in the description with everything else the description's got everything um so yeah just consider it and um sit back and enjoy the battles so we've got a first opponent playing a pretty similar team to what we've got you know they've got uh, at least four of the same pokemon that we've got um okay but the tapu lele there in place of probably uh dusclops and then stack attacker in place of amoongus uh so trick room mode again isn't too bad here um but our trick room mode is going to be slower than theirs so maybe we want to kind of at least counteract that somewhat uh thunderous isn't bad it can hit a lot of things. We'll cancel that. What's what's going on? No, 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 no. We don't want to quit. What are we doing? I don't know what's clicking around. Um, Yeah. So let's just think about this. Like Thunderous, I like as a lead. Yeah, for sure. Kind of puts off my opponent bringing the Incineroar, at least. But the funny thing is, I mean, the Stack Attacker has got Trick Room. So it's going to be the only thing that can Trick Room. Uh, we need to kind of counteract that. I'm going to bring Dracozol, I think Titar in the back, and probably Dusclops as well, to be honest. Amoongus isn't bad, you know. Um, and good luck, have fun to my opponent as well. So Tabulele going to come out. 
Um, okay, we've got a couple of options here. We can switch into Titos straight away and just nuke the Tapu Lele. And that might not be a bad idea. Getting rid of the Tapu Lele is going to make things a lot easier later on in this game. Um, and really, yeah, I am super tempted just to do that. And even if it's Scarfed Lele, we will outspeed it with Draco Visha and pick up the knockout. Thunderous here on my opponent's end. Might Max might go for an Airstream. Um... Or to change the terrain, maybe. But, yeah, we get rid of the Tapu Lele, so donk that. Max Lightning coming out. We, sh uh, we don't take it, which is interesting. Okay, so, um, Thunderous getting itself set up there. So, I think I'm going to bring in Dusclops now. Yeah, and Cinemore coming in. Uh, so, we'll protect Tita, and we will just Trick Room. Because I don't really feel like my opponent's got a way to stop us now. Sometimes you could think maybe the Thunderous might have Taunt. It does, obviously, in previous formats, has been known to carry Taunt to shut it down. But the more physical, offensive variants, especially now that the Fine ability, don't really have too much room for it. And obviously, you haven't got that Prankster ability anymore, so it doesn't make too much sense to run it on something like Thunderous, where you would normally see it probably more often not on something like um tornadoes as an alternative so a parting shot coming up from the incineral we need to be careful about uh max knuckle from the thunderous uh that's the one thing and you know it's always safe to go after the incineral here because incineral can't protect the thunderous can and the, the also the the the, uh, the incineral can parting shot which isn't going to be great i think we'll take a max knuckle from the thunderous anyway so we should be all right we'll just go for the max the the bulldoze the max bulldoze that's what i was going to say um and we'll get rid of this incineral while we've got the opportunity to we're not going to see the thunderous go for a max guard here which is interesting but we'll make quick work of it the next turn depending on what my opponent's last pokemon is uh yeah lightning coming out but not really doing too much and you can see it's life orb there so thankfully Tito does all the work that we need it to now stack attacker is an interesting prospect because it probably still under speeds tyranitar um which is tricky so we could potentially huh yeah i think i think yeah we definitely it still definitely under speeds us um hmm because we can't bulldoze again I mean, yeah, we can't because, yeah, it's... And the body press is a bit worrying. That's the only thing. It's like we need to get rid of... I mean, one thing we could do is reverse the trick room here. Might be a play. Oh, it's got heavy slam, which is interesting. Okay. Reverse the trick room. I don't think the Thunderous has got superpowers, so we're kind of all right. Um, and we'll just go for a max knuckle into the stack attacker. We'll go for a nightshade into the thunderous here. We might see the stacker actually protect here. It could have chopper. I don't know what it has, but uh, there's a flash cannon coming out. Um, so it's more of a, a special variant of uh, thunderous here, which is interesting. Get the max knuckle though. That's fine. The better play here for ourselves obviously would have been trick room in that turn, but it's it's uh, it's a little bit dodgy considering that, you know, they may protect the stack attacker there and then we're back in the, the same situation again. So, um, good game to my opponent and we will move on very swiftly. Hopefully we can get to see the Drake of Ish in this episode. That's the kind of the main thing of the team. Uh, but I do struggle sometimes to actually always bring it it's not always it's not something it's the same with the thunderous there's there's the two mons that that honestly if i'm talking honestly about the team here they're the two mons that don't get brought too often and the main core of the team is obviously incineral amoongus dusclops and tyranitar and we know how solid that is from previous formats and it's still performing as well as it ever has done so we've got all the genies all the genies up next uh tornadus thunderous landorus Cartana, Incineroar, Tapu Fini. So we've got that really nice Firewater Grass core there that was mid popularized back in 2018 or oh, 17, 18, you know. Um, okay, well, Trick Room again is really good with the T-Tar. If we can get it set up, I think that's uh, it's obviously going to do a lot of work for us. We have to be careful with our Incineroar just for the fact that, you know, we don't want to proc the uh the defined ability on on either the tornadoes or the thunderous which is likely to be on um so i think dusclops and moongus works pretty well tyranitar and then i think we do need incineral for the cartana and like once the defiant 
Pokemon are gone, I think it, it can it can perform pretty well. So <clears throat> we just need to deal with those defiant Pokemon before bringing Incineroar onto the field. So just it's just something to think about as well. It's going to be tricky. I think already feeling like Intimidate is going to be like a lot trickier run ability to make use of in this format with uh, the amount of Pokemon that can kind of benefit from um, all of the, the different abilities like Competitive, Defiant and stuff like that. There is a lot more Pokemon to abuse. And in the focus as well, you know, I've seen a lot of like Mama Swine as well, which makes things very tricky. Okay, there's the Airstream and does take down Amoongus, but that's fine. Um, at this point in time because yeah I mean they're trying their best to stop it but it doesn't work unfortunately so we'll bring in Titar which is great Um, I don't think the lander is a scarfed so I think we have to bulldoze hmm. it's tricky because the thunderous could max knuckle I think we need to get rid of the landerous I want to get rid of the landerous that's the thing yeah I'm going to go after the landerous here yeah, so there's a max guard. So hopefully this should be enough to get the Landorus here. Because uh, it's otherwise going to superpower us, which is really bad <laughs> news for us. Uh, yeah, so we get rid of it. That's great. Then we can get rid of the Thunderous the next turn, which is perfect. Cineral coming in. Uh, the thing is here, we could, like, I don't really want to take a parting shot um, from the Incineroar. But I mean, it kind of doesn't matter too much, in all honesty. Let's just Nightshade and uh, go the, the Rockfall. Like, oh, Thunder is switching out, so we're forcing it out. Cortana coming in. Cortana's going to still take a huge chunk of damage from this, yeah. Uh, Parting Shot probably going to come out now. Yep. Uh, but Thunder is coming back in, and we got one more turn of our max left, and we still got three turns of, well, two turns of Trick Room. So we're kind of all right. Um, I've got to go after the Cortana here. Uh, and I think we got a pretty safe max knuckle into this slot, because, yeah, even if the Incineroar comes in, we get the the attack boost and uh, thunder is just gonna protect so um okay they can fake out this next turn which is a little bit awkward for us because it is coming to the last turn of our trick room um we probably need to protect uh, let's go for a night shield into incineroar and just i mean no yeah, because we can't this is really awkward because this like ideally the trick room would have ended now but um not going to be the case so let's just go for a night shade into instead of protect tita let's see what they've got to throw out at us if they've got superpower or not yeah they have okay that makes sense um all right well superpower we need to get the trick room up once we get the trick room up again we're kind of we're kind of in an amazing spot so we'll just bring in incineral get the i know we're proccing the defined but we've got to we've got to do this yeah that's fine uh and get tito back onto the field and we should be able to close things up get darkest lariat that's super fine now we've got rock slide we can just get rid of the tornado the thunderous sorry and the incineral and um between Dusclops and Tyranitar, we should be able to deal with the Cortana anyway. Even though we've got superpower, it's gonna be it's kind of it's kind of fine. Like we get rid of the Incineroar here, the Thunderous might protect. Okay, no. That's fine. They're trying to to make use of the um the fake out this next turn, but it's not really gonna help them too much because like Dusclops can just go for the Nightshade into Cortana uh, and we'll just protect Tito just to be extra safe. Okay, that's fine. Darkest Lariat here could be problematic. Yeah, that's a nice play by my opponent. Um, okay, well, we superpower the Cortana, uh, and then we still win. Win out against the, the Incineral. We're minus one attack, but it's still kind of going to be all right. Because uh, we've got one turn of Trick Room left still. Um, and a superpower will do the job. So that was a little bit tricky, but uh, very good game to my opponent. And um, let's see what we're looking at for time. We are doing... Uh, probably all right let's have one more and then uh, we'll call it a day my friends um but yeah hopefully we're getting a good idea of what the team can perform like the different calls in it and how the synergy works well and also even though a lot of it might be the same we're getting to see different opponents and what our opponents are trying to do which is all good information for for you collecting information about what 
teams are being used and what combinations of stuff are being used and what could be tricky for us to play against. Okay, Metagross, Garchomp, Tapacoco, Incineroar, Melotic, and Togekiss. Uh, I feel like Thunderous is very good here. Thunderous and Draco's Alt as a lead could be good. And uh, the, the one thing that does worry me slightly is the Tapacoco. And then it makes me want to lean a little bit more towards um, a Trick Room mode again. Um, although Draco's Alt isn't bad at all. It's just if we see... Like, Thunderous Draco's Alt is pretty nice. Kind of covers more stuff as long as we've got the Tyranitar in the back to bring in. The Togekiss could be a little bit tricky, which is why I'm kind of leaning more towards my Trick Room call. And I don't feel like they've got Taunt anywhere to stop the Trick Room, so we could... Go... Thun hmm. Do we want Incineroar in this match? Probably. I feel like I want to bring Draco Vish though, so we're going to... We're going to force it into the game. We're going to force it. I think we need Thunderous anyway. So, um, hmm. We'll bring Thunderous. Or do we? Or do we bring Amoongus? Amoongus is going to be better. Like, yeah, let's go Dusclops. Actually, no. Let's go Dusclops. Uh, Thunderous. Covers the Togekiss, I guess, Tyranitar, and then Dracovish. Yeah, let's bring all the new the new boys. Let's do it. Let's just do it for this one. Okay, well, you can trick room. And, um, I mean, what are you going to do if you're Metagross or Incineroar? I mean, we've got the attack boost, which is the other nice thing now, where we could just max and keep our trick room mod for the late game and just go after the Metagross, to be honest. Might not be a bad idea. Like, switching in Dracovish here and going for an Airstream is quite a nice play. It's just whether or not they're going to go for Max Hailstorm, which I can imagine them doing. Um, just if we Airstream now into the Incineroar and then get Dracovish in, we can deal with the Metagross the next turn, which might be the better play. Just a worry that Togekiss comes in. I mean, if it does, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we've got Metagross Dusclops in the back. Yeah, because then we get Dracovish in with a speed boost. We should outspeed most things on my opponent's team. Uh, we'll outspeed the core core as well, which is good. Yeah, so we'll outspeed everything after an airstream, which is perfect. So it's just about what the Metagross goes for. And some Metagross aren't running Ice Punch, but the majority are. So just like be, be aware that that's something that Metagross is running. Um, it deals so well with stuff like Garchomp, Landorus, all the genies pretty much, Zapdos, Dragonite, list goes on and on and on. Okay, well let's turn our timer on because our opponent is taking their time after we've just been deliberating a little bit ourselves. So hopefully they speed up a little bit. Um, yeah, I think the one thing to take away from the early format is definitely how strong Metagross is. Metagross is a very scary Pokemon and it's very good. Um, yeah, so there is, and we don't quite get the Incineroar here, but do you see a Taunt, which is fine, and there's a Hailstorm, which is super fine, because now we just go after, uh, the Metagross. Um, I mean, we could go after, we'll probably, yeah, we probably have to double the Metagross. The worrying, the, the worrying thing here is if we don't go after the Incineroar, we, mm, they're probably parting shot into our Dracovish. Which, is that really that big a deal? The other thing is they could just target Thunderous and protect Metagross. Like, that's what I would probably do here. Um, let's go Ficious Rend, and let's go Max Knuckle into Incineroar, and let's boost our attack and get a plus one onto Dracovish, and that might be enough to get Metagross with the Ficious Rend and the Choice Band. Let's see. Could be. Metagross is so bulky anyway. Okay, so there's a plus one. Okay, well, I mean, we're going to get the Metagross the next turn. 100%, even though they got the defense boost. We do lose our Maxmon, but not the end of the world, I guess. We'll get Dusclops back in. Their taunt's gone, so I mean, we've got East Dad gone for us. This is a Melotic. Becomes a little bit more problematic now for us, I feel, um, without Thunderous. Should have doubled the Metagross, to be honest. Who knows? We probably would have lost it anyway. Yeah, and this makes it very tricky. Okay, well, it's 
kind of all right, I guess, because we'll go for the Metagross. They're going to follow me, and we will. Do we Trick Room here? It's just kind of then relying on. Uh, now let's go. Let's go. Uh, now nah, I think we need to Trick Room while we got the opportunity to. Yeah. Okay, we get the Metagross. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's the the better decision for sure. Trick room, and then depending on what they've got left, like if it's hmm, could be Garchomp, I guess it is Garchomp. Huh. It's going to be hard to switch in. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's going to be very hard. We'll go. We'll double into the Garchomp here because. Yeah, okay. Well, there's a Nightshade. And there's the Earthquake. That's what we're worried about a little bit. But then we get Tyranitar into the field. Now, I don't... Hmm, do we need... I don't think we need to Bulldoze here. I think we could Bulldoze. Because Chomp's not going to be able to knock us out. If we Bulldoze, we get rid of the Togekiss. We do some decent damage to the Chomp. Yeah, let's Bulldoze. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And we might even flinch the Garchomp, which would be tremendous, but we don't. But now we're going to be able to get it with, with a crunch. They've got to go for a double protect. And even then, that's going to be difficult to beat the Dusclops as well. So uh, it's worked out all right in the end, I think. So... Um, yeah, at least we got to see a little bit of Dracovish and Thunderous there, which is always good, which is part of the plan. And uh, we get some nice juicy points. Good game to my opponent. And uh, that about will wrap everything up for us today. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the Dracovish do its thing. Um, obviously, there are a bunch of item choices you can go on. I just felt with the, the, the Sand Rush boost, you could get the choice band going. I think it makes up and it's quite a nice option there. Obviously, doing some serious damage. That was maxed. Metagross as well, so it's doing some serious damage there. So, and Thunderous obviously is such a nice Pokemon anyway. But uh, I don't know. Uh, well, try the team out and let me know what you think. That'll be the big thing. So, as I said earlier, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe if you're not already, and uh, leave a comment down below. And I will look forward to seeing you all for another episode very soon. So, until then, take care of yourselves and bye bye.